Wouldn't it be kind of funny if I got an email from the Rainwood Publishers with the D- AH! No! <laughs> Bro, I didn't even think they knew who I was. Thank you, Occupata Games, for the code. And I am so sorry for originally missing your email. Downpour is linked in the description. And with that being said, let's get started. Hey guys. It's Fat Boy time. Before Downpour released, I always said the slug cat I'm most interested in is the Rivulet. It's blue and pink, and that's pretty much it. Although, it's locked until you beat the game on Gourmand, Artificer, or Hunter. Or by other means. But developer knows best, and I'll probably get a higher dopamine boost from unlocking them the intended way. Hopefully. To be honest, the only thing I know about the gourmand is that it requires a lot of food to go to sleep, and that I can body slam people and invert, invert their, their skulls. skulls. I think this will be fine. Whoa! Every corner I turn in this place, I get scared. <laughs> Welcome to Shaded Citadel. Please take your game back. I don't like it anymore. If you've played Rain World before, you know the entire gimmick of Shaded Citadel is that it's dark. Extremely dark and extremely deadly. But that kind of just sounds like the rest of the game. No worries though, the Gourmand can still do backflips and that calmed me down for the time being. Don't forget about that for a second. Let's learn the basics. The Gourmand needs a lot of food. I think that goes without saying, but the Gourmand can also craft two types of things, useful items like lanterns and flashbangs, or more food. My first couple of times trying to craft a lantern composed of me eating my materials because I can't read, but once you get the hang of it, easy peasy. I'm an idiot! Holy crap! But it was not long before I approached my first obstacle, and this really made me think. Be scared of me! I'm literally 20 times the size of all of you. Get me out of here! I was just kidding, man! Spiders. Eureka! What if I just jump on their head? Okay, no, that's not what I meant to what do. What am I doing wrong? I made a lantern. I have a spear. It's not like I can really skewer this group of spiders as they dance all over my corpse. I was a little pissed off. But then. But the Gourmand can also craft two types of things. Useful items like lanterns and flashbangs. A flashbang! Flashbang. I blinded all of those stupid spiders and escaped to victory. But in the meantime, something had changed. My excitement turned into paranoia, and I screamed at literally everything. Oh my god, dude, I'm getting paranoid! Everything. All right. Composed. Call me a little baby, but I think my doubts were reassured. The first time I was in Shaded Citadel, I was an agile slut cat who avoided pretty much every confrontation I could. This time, I could barely pull myself up a pole. If anything spotted me, I was pretty much screwed. And that's what was running through my head the entire time. Despite all this, it felt really good to have something new. I know I still haven't completed the Hunter playthrough, but hey, this is an entirely new experience. Let it slide, just this time. I couldn't just run into any room I pleased like I could before. And since I didn't actually know where in Shaded Citadel I was, some of the rooms were places I hadn't seen before, even if they might not have been new. Sorry guys, I don't have the map completely memorized. But finally, familiarity. I knew I was reaching the exit, and I completed this area before, so there was no reason to struggle at all. Die! What the frick? If I wasn't absolutely terrible. Anywho, at this point, there was no turning back. I needed to leave as quickly as possible, and I was getting cold chills. I sprinted as the music kicked up, and I swear to God, I thought I was gonna die from a vulture. The adrenaline was rushing. But vultures don't spawn in Shaded Citadel, lol. And as I rested, I anticipated what was next to come. I still had no idea what I wanted to accomplish, and the fact that I ran past an echo spawn really had me hoping that five pebbles would max out my karma. But for now, I waited, for there was no way the next area could be worse than this. Asterisk. I completely forgot what came next. Shoreline! 
Ha! Uh, let's cut to the chase. I was still on track to meet up with Moon. I thought, hey, I could use a friend in this time of need. Now I'm gonna be honest with you. On my first playthrough, I tried as hard as I could to make it in and out of here. So I plan to do exactly the same. Except I had no idea where I was going. I managed to find Moon and she said a couple of words, but that was it. No dream sequence, no nothing. And after that, I completely lost my way. For two hours. To add insult to injury, it seemed like my save file was glitched. Nice. Early access things, am I right? I couldn't go on land for fear that I'd get crushed to smithereens, but I really didn't want to go swimming with a sentient seaweed. So I called it a day. I got an email back from the dev team saying that my save file was not glitched, but in fact, this was just the weather, and I could sleep it off the entire time. Awesome. In the meantime, I was trying to plan out my next moves, but to be honest, my brain not work. Now, I could have searched up a map to stop this entire section from happening, but hey, I let my ego get in the way. <laughs> I was starting to panic a little bit. At this point, my whole plan was to go back to the outskirts for some reason. Not anything in particular, but just uh, something to do. Backwards, Backwards progression. progression. Now the best thing about this area was how much it reminded me that the Gourmand sucks so bad. He's just so bad. He runs out of stamina so quickly and is so inconvenient. But one of my favorite parts of this playthrough so far are the things that I've accidentally killed. I can already see this having negative consequences in the future. I really have to be careful about where I fall because once an ally, now a pancake. I killed- I am so sorry. After literally screaming my brains out, I did in fact find the way to the garbage waste, industrial complex, and back to the outskirts, only to get instantly killed by a red lizard Whoa, What the frick, man? Bro! and pass it back to Shaded Citadel. That's what I was saving it for. The past three hours of gameplay were virtually useless. I will say I'm not completely mad about it, and in fact, I'm probably gonna miss Shoreline, but that's only because I'm going to the lag! <laughs> I am just going to go to memory. Okay. This is the blueprint. My three pit stops are the underhang into five pebbles, down the wall into the farm arrays, and the subterranean into the depths. Pretty standard, which is why it was putting me off. I wasn't really sure how long into the timeline the Gourmand came along, but I thought it was safe to say that I'd be ascending. I'm really praying for that max karma boost from five pebbles, man. As I traveled back down Shaded Citadel, I tried my best to make it back to the memory crypts, dying until I found a place to rest. And watch this. That What? Bro, what killed me? Jokes aside, this was an omen for bad, bad things, things to, to come. come. Or so I thought. I'm trying to be dramatic, I'm just really not as bad at this game as I make it seem. Don't watch the VODs. I made it through Memory Crypt's first try with no issues, finding food and resting before the trek up the leg. It was pretty easy from here on, a couple deaths here and there, and someone asked me if I was going through unfortunate development, so I laughed in their face. Love You are freaking kidding me! <laughs> but it was pretty much smooth sailing all the way through the underhang, which put a really big smile on my face. I was speed running it into five pebbles, making up for time lost before. I say as I die without saving, a little bit off of full hunger, no big deal! I say as I die without saving, a little bit off of full hunger. Okay, maybe going through unfortunate development despite myself wasn't a good idea. I did eventually get through it though, saw these little vulture things I get pissed off if you eat neurons, didn't do that, and I got to have my conversation with Mr. Pebbles. 
Your life is nothing. You serve zero purpose. You should My conversation with Five Pebbles did not go as planned. Something he said resonated with me though. Not the part about killing myself, yet, but meeting with my family. He didn't give me enough karma though, so that means I can find I'd rather die. We'll stick it out though, but I'm at the walls. So I don't know how long that's gonna last for. I'm done with this game. But with that, I knew where the end of my journey was headed, and I just needed a bit of time to close things out. There's not a lot to do left, but hey, I'm not the gourmand for nothing. <laughs> um, see you soon, hopefully.